Hi guys, uh, today I'm just going to show you real quickly how you can use a smartphone and Dropbox to get something that isn't on the computer, like a drawing, um, onto a, to give it a URL so you can put it on Google Maps. So I'm just going to take a quick picture with my smartphone, and then all I'm going to do, make sure you guys can see this okay, so all I'm going to do is open the picture up. I'm going to tap share and I'm going to add to Dropbox. And you want to make sure that when you're inside of your Dropbox, and if you have the app, this should already be set up, but you want to make sure that you add it to this folder right here that says public and it's got a little globe on it. Okay, so we're going to open that and we're going to say add. And it's going to do that real quick and I'll see you at my computer in a second. Okay, so now we're looking at the web version of Dropbox. It's important to note that you can't do this through the app on your computer. You do actually have to go onto the internet to get this part done. So we're in my Dropbox, and you see that I'm inside of that public folder um, that I showed you off my phone. And here's the image that I just took. I'm going to click here over to the side so that, so that I don't open it. It just highlights. And what you can see are when I click on it, these options right up here appear across the top. And it's this option, copy public link, that I'm going to want to use. So I'm going to click on that. I get this right here. I'm going to say copy to clipboard. It tells me that the link has been copied to the clipboard. And now I'm pretty much good to go. I want to go over to the map that I'm working with. And I'm going to add a new pin. That's this right here, or a new marker. And I get the crosshairs. and since we're trying to add things where they actually occur because it makes more sense. And I think we're probably right about there. And uh, I'm going to call this something that makes sense. Oh, hopefully I can spell. And right here where you see this uh, spot for a URL, I'm just going to right click and paste. And it puts the URL of what um, of the picture I just made. We're going to click Add, and we'll see in a second that there it is right there. Now, obviously, this is a very rough cut. Um, I would have probably edited it a little bit, but you get the idea. So any graph you've made by hand, this is an easy way to get it onto your Google Map. Hit Save, and uh, you should be good to go. Okay, I hope this helps, and uh, good luck with this project.